Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Shock. More uncovers Democrat election fraud Americans demand end it now. Alabama has voted to elect their first Democrat senator in over 25 years. The election was a shock to conservatives. Many are still reeling over the surprise vote. People can't believe that the deep red state would flip for Doug Jones. The Democrat is a far-left liberal. He supports full-term abortion and other radical views. For Alabamians to elect him over more was unprecedented. Some to believe there was voter fraud. Allegations like that are tossed around every election. But rumors are growing, due to a court ruling. From TechCrunch Following an 11th-hour order instructing voting officials in Alabama to keep the digital ballots generated in Tuesday's controversial Senate election, the state's Supreme Court has issued a stay to block that decision. The order to preserve the records was issued by the Montgomery County Circuit Court on Monday afternoon less than 24 hours before voting was set to begin and the stay that will effectively nullify that order was issued late Monday night. All counties employing digital ballot scanners in the December 12, 2017 election are hereby ordered to set their voting machines to save all processed images in order to preserve all digital ballot images, the Montgomery County order stated. According to AL.com, at 4.32 p.m. Monday, attorneys for Alabama Secretary of State John Merrill and Ed Packard, the state administrator of elections, filed an emergency motion to stay that order, which the state Supreme Court granted minutes after Merrill and Packard's motion was filed. This ruling is troubling. It means voting officials can destroy digital voting records. Should an investigation arise, those records will be gone. It will be impossible to prove voter fraud. They will not be able to find proof people voted illegally. Many worry that illegal aliens vote. Or people use the IDs of dead people to vote multiple times. But you can't prove that, if the records are destroyed. Records from last Tuesday's election are already gone. There is no way anyone can prove voter fraud. Should evidence arise that there was fraud, it's too late. It's a shocking development. Why would the Alabama Supreme Court want to interfere? Why would they block a common sense order like this? We may never know the real reason. It's only another wrinkle in a divisive and scandalous election.